Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, this is Lithium017 from my channel Nintendo Collecting 101, bringing you collecting tip number 50. This is also my 200th video. That's so many videos. Whoopee! So this tip is all about comparing online buys versus buying things in person. And the market's been changing, it's been changing for a while now, it's even been changing since I started to do these collecting tip videos. So I have three main things to discuss. Number one, availability. Number two, accessibility. And number three, awesome ability. Yeah, let's make up some words. All right, so first of all, availability. Obviously, there's a lot more stuff available online. I think the day of finding amazing collecting deals isn't going the way of the dodo bird, but people have gotten a lot smarter about what they're doing. A lot of people have gotten to collecting recently and most people know what they have now, so they charge what they think they can get for it. That being said, I have some tips about availability. Obviously, more stuff's available online. But, in your own market, where you live, evaluate what's the likelihood of me running into a Killer Instinct or a F-Zero, if that's what you're looking for, or whatever it is you're collecting. Look at the market where you live and the stores that are available to you, and think, what are the odds that I'm actually going to get, you know, whatever you're looking for? For example, for me, a Mario Tennyson box. I already had it growing up. Better example, Mario Party. The odds of me finding that, pretty good in my area. I live near Toronto. There's a lot of collectors. There's a lot of things going on. There's no real point for me to ever buy this Mario Party game and pay for shipping and have it sent to me. It doesn't really make sense. I can find it in person. Then there's games like the Lufia series on the Super Nintendo. You don't know these games? You don't know them? Play them. They're amazing. One's Luf Lufia, the Fortress of Doom. The other one's Rise of the Sinistrals. They're hard to get. They're pretty rare. They're a fantastic series, though. There's also one on a handheld console. Bonus points if you can tell me what that game is. Anyways, so finding these in person, almost impossible. Very, very unlikely. So when I find them for a good deal online, I'm definitely going to pick them up, probably just because I can't find them in person. But these games, be patient. Games such as these that you know they're more common, if they're million sellers, you're going to find them out in the open at some point or at swap meets. Be more patient with those ones. So definitely in terms of availability, think about, can I find it in person? If you can, maybe hold out. Next is accessibility. Big word, what a mouthful. Yes, I have a red Char's customized box GameCube. Yes, I have a Wii Mini, exclusive to Canada. I'm Canadian. Woo! So much red in this video. This one, uh, there's no chance in heck I'm ever finding it in person. That one, I can go to any corner store. But what you need to remember is, even though I could go to a store like Shoppers Drug Mart, crazy, or Walmart, or anything like that, and buy this, gas costs money. Tax costs money. Keep that in mind. If I'm driving all the way to pick up a Wii Mini, keep in price cost of gas. Because when you buy online, you definitely keep in mind the price of shipping. Shipping this box to me costs like $70. That's like almost as expensive as the Wii Mini. That's insane. So when I finally found a really good deal in person, and I picked up like all these Super Nintendo games, just bear with me for half a second. Oh my god, look, oh my god, it's Chrono Trigger online. I see it on Kijiji or Craigslist. JJ's selling it for like $30. He lives so far away though, it's a 30 minute drive. How much is that gas money to get there? You have to get there, and you have to get back, and if you don't drive, you're taking public transportation, maybe it's less expensive. If you're driving, or your dad's driving you, or your parents, gas costs money. Keep that in mind, because shipping's really expensive, but guess what? Gas is too. Thanks, JJ. Last point, awesome ability. This one's more like the rush of the find. Have you ever noticed that the rush of the find online and in person is different? I have. I sure have. When I found Harvest Moon in person in the box, I like crap myself. I was so excited. It was just, I didn't think I'd find it. It was just a great day. That's a gaming store that's going to come to you in the near future. It was a great day. The same kind of rush of the find when I find something else online like Ogre Battle. It's cool. It's awesome. But you're almost not finding anything in person anymore. So the rush of the find in person is a lot higher than I think the rush of the find online. The only thing that can trump that is when you find something that you're not going to find anywhere except for online, like a JustCo 30th anniversary N64 console that there's only a handful of. 
So that you're only going to find online and the rush itself will be huge and massive. But when I buy a really awesome game like Ogre Battle and I get it for a really cheap price and it's boxed, I do feel a rush. It's lame. It's online. When I find it in person, I think the rush is even better. So for all you gamer hunters out there, definitely go to the swap meets and stuff like that and try it and definitely just try and go to garage sales and pick up some stuff and find stuff because when you find it in person, I don't know, it's just a little bit better than 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 doing this. Doing this on your own for a while on the computer. Yay, I want a bid. I want something. It'll be here in like three weeks, which I have to pay $70 for shipping for. In-person rushes, better. So that's collecting tip slash tips number 50. I threw a lot into this video. I just really had to do a comparison between buying things online, buying things in person. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be bringing you back videos every week at least. I've been busy. Feel free to subscribe if you like this and follow me on Twitter. My name is Nintendan017, link in the underbar. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you later.